Hi guys. Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the Bruma Ants channel. In this video we are going to learn how to care for a very common ant species, Lasius niger. By the end of the video, you will have all the information you need to start growing your own Lasius niger colony, all by yourself. Let's get into it. Lasius niger, commonly called black garden ant, is one of the most popular ant species among ant keepers all over the world. Due to its very easy requirements and strong adaptability, Lasius niger is considered one of the best ants for beginners. Lasius niger is extremely common in Europe, where it fills the yards of every house in the continent, and can also be found in some parts of North America and Asia. The queen size ranges from 6 to 9 mm, and from 3 to 5 mm for the workers. They usually nest underground, where the temperature and humidity levels are ideal for the development of the brood. In the summer you can also easily find them under stones and rocks, which become really hot when heated by the sun. Lasius niger is monogen, which means that the colonies of this species accept only one queen. The nuptial flights of this species occur in the summer, usually between July and August. Temperature Lasius niger is very adaptable, and can easily be kept at room temperature. Anyway, if you want to speed up the colony development a bit, the ideal temperature would be between 23 and 25 degrees Celsius. This can easily be achieved by using an external source of heat, like a heat cable or a heat mat. By doing so, the metabolism of the brood will accelerate, reducing the time needed for the ant to fully develop into adults. Remember to be extremely careful when using these types of heat sources. If not well managed, they can practically cook your ants and kill the entire colony. To avoid this issue you can use a thermostat, which automatically regulates the temperature of your heat source. Humidity When it comes to humidity levels, Lasius niger doesn't have extreme demands. They like a range of moisture levels that go from 10% to up to 50%. One thing you have to take into account is that this species doesn't like dry climate. If you notice that your nest dries out too quickly, you may have to consider changing the setup a bit. You can rearrange the elements of your formicarium, in order to create an environment that better maintains moisture levels. If you have a natural setup, you can easily increase the moisture level by spraying some water using a spray bottle, like the one used in gardening. You can also add some moisture retention material, like some piece of wood or a bark substrate. Food Lasius niger loves every type of high sugar food. Honey, fruit, sugar water, and jellies, jams. They go crazy for it. In addition to sweet foods, which provide instant energy for the ants, they also require some dose of protein for the development of the brood. As the protein source you can give them mealworms, fruit flies, spiders, crickets, waxworms and beetles. I personally feed them gamers, which are little river shrimps. One peculiar thing about this species is that in the wild they milk aphids for honeydew. Yes, you heard right. These ants love the special sugary liquid produced by the aphids, so they create actual tiny farms where they raise them and milk them. If you're watching this video, there's a high chance you're just starting out, and that you've just caught your first laziest Niger queen ant. If that's the case, you don't have to worry too much about feeding at this stage. That's because Lasius niger is a fully claustral species, which means that the queen won't need to eat for at least a month, until she has her first workers. She especially doesn't need protein right now, because she can obtain the protein she needs from the decomposition of her wing muscles. However, if you want, you can give her a little drop of honey. That would give her the right amount of energy she will need to start her own ant colony. Hibernation Lasius niger needs hibernation. They hibernate through the winter, from around late October to late March. They need at least a couple of months of dipause, a biological phase in which the queen doesn't lay eggs. This phase is very important for the health of the queen, 
and it's the only time in the whole year where she can peacefully take some rest. For this species the ideal temperature for hibernation is around 10 degrees Celsius. I would not suggest going a lot lower than this, because in some cases it could create some problems in the long-term growth of the colony. If you haven't any available refrigerator, you can put the colony in the basement or in the garage, where the temperature is not too low and not too high. Nest type When it comes to choosing a formicarium for Laziest Niger, you have a ton of different options. The ideal nest type for this species would be one based on some type of soil or dirt, in order to replicate their natural habitat. If you like this type of nest I would suggest you to use the so-called sandwich formicarium. Those are perfect for observing the ants dig tunnels in the dirt, creating the structure of the formicarium as they like. Another valid alternative is a Waitong nest. Waitong is a particular type of aerated concrete, usually used in construction. It is very popular in ant keeping for its moisture retention properties, and it's perfect for housing a colony of this species. If you love DIY projects and prefer building things by yourself to your own needs, this is the perfect choice for you. This material is really easy to sculpt, and with some practice you can create amazing looking nests. Another advantage of using a white tong nest is that it creates a strong contrast between its white color and the black color of the ants, helping them to stand out. The last but not least alternative for housing your laziest Niger colony, is a more classic acrylic nest. They come in every shape and form, and have become very popular in recent years. There are a lot of companies that make these types of nests, and you can easily find them online. I hope you have found this video helpful. Now you too can take care of your laziest Niger ant colony. If you like the content make sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps a lot. And if you don't want to miss any future videos, don't forget to subscribe. If you just found your queen and want to know how to create the perfect environment for her, check out this video on how to make a test tube setup. This is the perfect way to start your ant colony. And if you like the idea of buying an acrylic nest, I would suggest checking out this video review of a really cool nest made by the company Ant House. They make really good ant keeping products. See you soon in another video.